So, good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for coming along to our first um, of many for the month of February, our biohacking series, where we are going to be interviewing doctors, athletes, and business people on why they biohack. What is NRF1 and NRF2 and, and why do we need to be doing this? Why do we need to be biohacking our bodies? So the first person that I am honored this morning that is taking time out of his busy schedule, Dr. Neil Goodman, we want to thank you on behalf of all Australia. I know lots of people have been saying thank you in the chat. We are going to do a 15 minute interview with Dr. Neil Goodman. Now to give you a small background, Dr. Neil Goodman is Chief of Pediatrics for the South Georgia Health System and he also has a private corporate practice for adolescents from ages 0 to 18 years. He has over 33 years as in pediatrics across corporate as well as the public system. So good morning Neil, I'm honored that you're here. And I'm just going to start straight away because we have this 15 minutes. I would love to ask you, and I know you're going to share your screen and everything. Um, what is NRF2 and NRF1? What, what are these and why, you know, why do we need them? What, why does everybody really need to be using these and activating these in, in our bodies? What's the importance of it from a doctor's point of view? Right. G. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, of course, it's evening time here, Friday evening, uh, my time. Uh, gee, actually, the best way for me to explain this is actually for me to start with my slides because I've given a very thoughtful um, outline as to uh, why we need to um, uh, consider NRF2 and NRF1, if that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and share this screen. Hopefully you'll all be seeing it very shortly. Uh, there's a, usually a little bit of a time delay, so I apologize for that. As I said, uh, or as G mentioned, I teach medical students and uh, nursing students in my institution, and we're constantly talking about health. And this is one of the most important presentations potentially of your lifetime, and I call it the Biohacker's Guide to Wellness and Aging. And gee, I'm gonna start talking about NRF2. Uh, everyone needs to understand that oxygen causes oxidation. And when you have a piece of metal and you expose, for example, steel to oxygen, it rusts. And aluminum will corrode. Well, your cells are rusting too. Uh, they develop wrinkles, um, cell damage, later inflammation, and ultimately this leads to aging and disease and finally cell death. Uh, the, the main instigator in this is the free radical. And if you look at this apple and you expose an apple for a few minutes to oxygen, this is what you get. It turns brown and it literally ages in front of your eyes. And the mechanism for this is because of a, something we call a free radical. And a free radical is nothing more than a supercharged oxygen particle that has the ability to rob other cells of oxygen or electrons. And the only thing that really can stop it is something called an antioxidant. And that is the battle that lies in front of all of our cells. So free radicals come from nature, but we also make them within our body. And we make them in the millions. And the common denominator is the oxygen molecule. And they come from our exposure to pollution, radiation, UV light, and our own cellular metabolism. And this is why it's so important. These free radicals are the bad guys. They are destroying our body from the moment we're born. Now, how we contended with this is that we were also born with something that was really good, and that was the antioxidant. This is a direct battle. They're present at birth. And the primary internal antioxidants that you see in the top triangle on this next diagram are the uh, factors that we were given when we were born to allow us to contend with the constant buildup of free radicals. And these three primary antioxidants are called SOD, or superoxide dismutase, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase. 
These are three very, very potent internal antioxidants that can fight off free radicals to the tune of millions versus the secondary dietary antioxidants, which we all take, like vitamin C and eating kale and eating broccoli. These are also useful, but they only work on a one-to-one -one ratio, not a million-to-one ratio. And this is why NRF2 becomes so important, understanding that if we are able to activate a specific protein in our body, we can actually make more of our internal antioxidants, which are so much more powerful. And so therefore, they're the good guys. So when you have more free radicals than you have antioxidants to contend with them, that's the term oxidative stress. So oxidative stress is nothing more than inflammation. Inflammation, of course, and oxidative stress are at the heart of over 200 diseases and are also the cause of our body's aging. So in this diagram that you see here, you see a circle with all the body systems and all the different organs and how they can be affected by something negative. And in the center, you see the diagram showing inflammation and oxidative stress. This is the bad guys. We don't want those to affect all the organ systems that we, are, uh, that we have in our body. So as medical doctors, what we've done in the past is we've treated those individual organ systems once the problem has occurred. But if you look at some of these conditions, look under brain, you see the word Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, OCD, autism, migraine headaches, ADHD. A number of different conditions are all linked to oxidative stress and inflammation. And if you search on pubmed.gov in the United States, you can actually find links to over 3,200 different conditions that are linked to oxidative stress. So what we wanna do is we want to increase our cellular production of those internal antioxidants to allow us to fight off the free radicals. And we do that by bringing in the NRF2 molecule. So you have coded in your chromosomes, proteins and enzymes on your individual genes. And it just so happens that the NRF2 protein and the NRF1 protein have been identified as the master regulators of cell protection. So if you can activate that, you can actually increase your SOD by 34%. And you can increase your catalase by a whopping 54%. And ultimately, glutathione, which is the third ingredient of the antioxidants that we are born with, you can raise that by 300% in less than 120 days. And as a net result, you're able to reduce your oxidative stress from free radical damage in almost every person who has ever taken ProTandem NRF2 by 40% within 30 days. That's an unbelievable statement. And in the United States, we are actually able to make a FDA statement that says, although we can't say that we treat disease or mitigate disease by the use of protandem, what we are able to do is in fact reduce oxidative stress by 40% in everyone who takes it. And that's an incredible statement. So essentially folks, biohacking is now a reality. Now when I talk about biohacking, I'm talking about changing the expression of your DNA code. You have that code in every single one of your 37 trillion cells, but only 20% of your DNA is ever expressed and 80% lies dormant. You can activate it by doing things like this and ProTandem NRF2 is an example of biohacking. The option, other option is to let your body be hijacked by all the bad things that happen to us on a daily basis. And this includes free radical damage, toxins, pollution, radiation, et cetera. So we want to biohack. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And we're using the science of nutrigenomics, which is essentially how we use food and food products to influence our genetic expression. So that's what the term nutrigenomics is. Now, you remember I mentioned antioxidants. The direct antioxidants are what you eat. They work on a one-to-one -one basis. One free radical is destroyed by one antioxidant molecule. But when you do NRF2 activation, you are amplifying that by one million to one because you're using all of your cells' DNA activation to induce these enzymes to be present. 
And that's the miracle that we're talking about in ProTandem NRF2. There's absolutely nothing else like it. And LifeVantage has the patent on it. This is why it's at the forefront of what we're doing and why I believe in it. And we're utilizing this to our benefit currently now in the United States. And I hope th uh, that all of you guys in Australia can do the same. Uh, let me just show you, this is very brief, G. I know you don't want me to go into too much detail, but I just want you to see one thing. There's a little purple molecule there in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. That's protandum. And that green thing is a cell. Protandum jumps onto the cell membrane. It activates a series of very complicated chemical reactions, which I'm flipping through very quickly, and essentially tells the cell's DNA to generate protective enzymes, which allow those things that we talked about to come to the rescue of our free radical damage. And if you were to take any one of the five individual uh, ultra pure ingredients that are in protanum, which include turmeric, milk thistle, green tea extract, bacopa extract, and ashwagandha root, if you took any one of those individuals, if you look at this graph on the left side of the graph, you'll see that it's not very high, these little bars. Those represent each of those ingredients. But what LifeVantage did is they got the patent and showed that if given in the correct ratio, and it's the ratio that's critical, you can amplify the effect by 1,800%. That is, you can induce the NRF2 genes to do their job to produce antioxidants internally to a measure of 1,800%. That's greater than any other product that has ever been formulated. There's nothing on earth that exists like it. So I just want to repeat one last thing, G. It lowers your oxidative stress by an average of 40% in 30 days. This is not in question. This is proven science. You can reduce your cellular stress and aging by doing that. You induce enzymes capable of neutralizing more than a million free radicals. And you also activate your survival genes, of which there are over 400, to help the body repair and rejuvenate its own cells. So essentially, here is an example of oxidative stress without protandum, straight up from age 20 to age 80. This was proven and measured. And here is that blue line showing that it's flat line when you give patients protandum, and this is in just 30 days. It is absolutely unbelievable, and it's why I'm behind it. All right, so this is just very quickly, protandum, what's the cost of protandum? Well, look in the left corner. It's $41 US or $59 Australian money. Um, I presume you guys have the dollar too. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys call your currency the dollar or not, but $59 Australian. I want you to look directly below at a drug that we have in the United States called Tecfidera. Look at the protandum bar. It is twice as high as Tecfidera. Look at the price tag on Tecfidera, $50,000 US per year to take Tecfidera. It's a drug that was invented that's an NRF2 activator for the use in multiple sclerosis. And look at Protandum for $41 US, twice as powerful. This is what we have, guys. This is unbelievable. All right, so I'm gonna jump ahead. I wanna just show you one last thing, which is absolutely telling. This is a bar graph showing genetic expression of all of your genes, actually 63 of the 400 that I mentioned, survival genes. And look at these red bars, they're all over the place, up and down. Some of them are low, representing some genes that are not expressed enough. And some genes are very high, representing genes that cause trouble. For example, high blood pressure and heart, um, hardening of the arteries. And this is what happens when you put protandum into the mix. The ones that were high are brought down, and the ones that were low are brought up. It essentially levels the playing field and produces a nice, even distribution. This is the way your genes were programmed to function when you were a child. And now you can bring yours back into level by using protandum. This is unbelievable what I'm showing you. All right, let's talk real briefly what Washington State University said about protandum NRF2. It was potentially the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. This is as recent as 2015. 
Okay, so I want to talk real quick about NRF1 because I didn't even talk about it. And I want to talk about mitochondrial function very quickly. And then we'll take questions. Mitochondria are needed in every single one of your cells for your cells to survive. They are the energy house for every cell. Every cell has hundreds of them. You have more of them when you're young and you have less of them when you're older. 95% of your energy is produced by the mitochondria, which exists in all of these cells. They produce something called ATP. They need, you need it for your brain to function, you need it for your muscles, and you need it for growth. This is all of the chemical reactions that take place in the mitochondria. I, you're not gonna memorize this, but there are a lot, and our bodies depend on them. It's a very complicated organelle. Well, here is an example of a mitochondria that has been harmed by free radical damage, it's been, it's been um, uh, destroyed, essentially, made less functionable. And essentially, that's what free radicals do to the internal part of the cell. Not only does it destroy the nucleus, where the DNA is, but it also destroys the mitochondria, where your energy is made. And if you don't have mitochondria, you have a problem, because those cells can no longer metabolize like they were destined to when they were healthy. So here is a cell. And you see those little orange things, those are the mitochondria. And this is what happens when the mitochondria go away. The cell, even though the nucleus is there with all the information for its survival, that cell is dead. And if you have mitochondria go away, this is the induction of cancer. Cancer cells have problems restoring themselves and it's as a result of inadequate numbers of mitochondria. Okay, so the, essentially the cell is destroyed from the inside out. So briefly, if you have decreased mitochondria, you have decreased metabolism. If you have decreased metabolism, you have decreased energy and then consequently weight gain. This is why we gain weight as we get older, generally speaking. If you have decreased energy, you don't heal as well and hence the onset of cancer. We want to have lots of healthy mitochondria. And also, if you don't have energy at the cell's heart, you have decreased ability to think, you have, it affects your emotion and it affects your ability to concentrate because you're talking about your brain here. So Protanum NRF1 Synergizer is the sister product with the Superman symbol by it because it's that important that activates the NRF1 protein. Remember now, that's a regulatory protein in your cell's nucleus that allows your body to make energy. And it protects the mitochondria from damage. It supports cell rejuvenation. It actually helps the uh, ATP formation centers to increase in number and actually restore the number of mitochondria to their original numbers. And thereby then improves brain function, heart function, and blood function. So these are unbelievable. These are also all natural products. These are the ingredients. You can read these on your own, but just suffice it to say that they're ultra pure and they are uh, or, uh, better than organic and they're all natural, naturally derived. So if you have then healthy mitochondria and you have healthy cells because of getting rid of oxidative stress, this is what we call the one-two punch. And these two products together work cooperatively, and it is an incredible, incredible thing that has been brought to us, and you all have access to it. Gee, that's why I'm all about NRF1 and NRF2.